as you know, uh, we're still dealing with that trauma in, in many ways. It was the disaster that happened and then was frozen in place. I was home over the weekend and spring thaw is starting to come and people are, are now seeing uh, damage that they were not able to see prior to because we just had so much snow that was on the ground. And so that is, is adding to I think the continuing stress of dealing with this particular disaster. I want to speak to, uh, to, to what we're seeing with some of the frustration from folks as they deal with not only uh, the FEMA and the assistance programs, but the, but the state and the individual assistance program there. Um, individual assistance program there uh, at, at FEMA, of course, is 34,000, but many Alaskans have come to understand that what they're seeing from the, from the FEMA inspectors is a relatively low award. Um, uh, they're told that they can appeal, uh, but frankly, they won't even know how their grant was calculated unless they take the initiative of asking for the inspector's report from FEMA by calling some call center that we're not really quite sure where that is. But we, of course, in our office, get all of the calls coming in and individuals that are upset or frustrated. Uh, we have been talking with one individual whose, whose estimate for repairs are between 220000 and 400000 which is far more than his current mortgage. He initially received uh, $2,337 from FEMA. After two appeals, he's now received $6,000 total in FEMA aid. Uh, another individual, in initial estimates to repair total $83,000. He originally received just, just shy of $3,000 from FEMA, and after appealing, he received an additional 1,900. Um, what, what, what they're saying is, look, I'm not asking for FEMA to repay the cost of my home. We know that. We know that FEMA is not designed to make you whole, and they're not seeking that. They're not asking for a Cadillac here, but they're asking for the ability to have it restored to safe and habitable condition. 